welcome to the Daily Dose of Affirmations podcast. This is season three. So let's recap. With season one, it was a long one, and it had many breaks in between. It first started with just me, a solo podcast, and then it added、uh, guest speakers coming on and、um, interviews. Then that stopped. And then it moved on. It was called the Yoga Sessions Podcast. And then the second season was it started with Daily Dose of Affirmations Podcast with just affirmations, I am statements. And then it jumped into more of、um, personal development, more of short clips of teaching from me and、uh, quoting people, mentioning other. Uh, personal development gurus,、uh, people in the field of、um, similar content, and this season is going into more of my experience, what I'm learning in my new business, and how I'm growing as a person personally and growing as a business. And it has to do with health, relationship, mindset, emotional health, mental health, spiritual health, all the different areas of health and. Financial abundance and money mindset. The break period from the second season to the third season, a lot has happened. I started the three hundred sixty-five days of TikTok, and I've been repurposing the content to Facebook Reels and Instagram Reels. Instagram Reels, I pretty much don't get any views, so I don't even think I'm going to spend much time on it. Some people do really well on Instagram,、um, great for them, and I'm sure、um, you could find those people to learn from if you really want to grow on Instagram. But my thing has been on TikTok and Facebook Reels. So if you will want to hear more about that,、um, definitely let me know. But whether by email support at pantycoaching.com or you could comment and. Find me on social media at pantycoaching.com to ask me to share more about TikTok strategies that I've been doing, and you can follow me on there as well. As for the other things, what's happening is that with my traveling business as a tra- independent travel agent, and also as a sponsor to sponsor to recruit travel agents, I've learned a lot in just about business and relationship communication. Um, connections with other people, just all the different aspects of all the different things in such a short amount of time, and I would also like to share that in this season. I changed the my Facebook group name too. It has currently seventeen hundred people in there, and now the group is called Health, Wealth, and Beyond. And that's the name of the Facebook group. I'll share the link in the description if you want to join that group. I've been going live in there、um, as much as I can, and I ask people to vote for the best time for me to go on live, where、uh, people in the group can catch me live. And the majority of the people would say it's between nine to ten or eleven p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Some say eleven or twelve. Um, in the morning is good for them, so I might just test it out to see if morning works for some people. But the majority of people say that、uh, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time is the best. So if you're going to jump into the Facebook group,、uh, please vote and let me know what time is the best time that you could catch me live. And of course, the replay will be there for 30 days. Then it will be converted to some episodes. For this season of the podcast, and also on the YouTube channel, where the video format of this podcast is automatically uploaded on the YouTube channel anyway, and is the YouTube channel is Panty Coaching. If you want to also look me up on YouTube, if you're wondering if I'm gonna be converting or uploading the TikTok videos and. Facebook Reels to YouTube as YouTube Shorts. I've done that for a couple of videos. I didn't seem to get a lot of views, so I'm not gonna focus on all three channels. My main channel is still Facebook, and now that I'm uploading TikTok videos, so that's I create the videos on TikTok and then I convert it to、uh, Facebook Reels. So those are my plans in terms of social media content. Uh, in addition to what I will be sharing with you on the podcast, as for the different changes with this podcast from the beginning until now, it has a lot to do with my personal growth. 
what I've been learning, what I've been experiencing, and also what feels aligned for me. And I think it's really important to do things that I feel most aligned to. I have learned from a lot of different people, their business strategies, what worked for them. And by doing what has worked for them, I've tried it because they've been successful in doing what they're doing. And for me, it's just something is not 100% goes with my personality or not fully what I believe in. So it just doesn't really turn out the way that I would want it. Or there's, I would always think in the back of my mind that there's something missing or that um, maybe if I do it my way, it would just be more natural for me. So I guess I'm going to go with the path that feels most aligned for me, that I feel called to do. It just makes things a lot easier for me to deliver, especially when it comes to content and um, hopefully getting you the results that you're looking for from what I have to share. And that brings me to talk about why I changed a Facebook group. Uh, I changed a few times as well. So the last time it was called Live Coaching with Pen He, and I wasn't really doing live coaching in that group. And now that I've narrowed down my um, topic, coaching topic, and just niche in general or niche, it really changed a lot. So instead of you know, when you're taking a course on coming up with your product, whether it's physical product or uh, service product, that they always say you pick one category, right? You pick either health, wealth, or relationship. But then, in my opinion, from a multi-passionate person, creative, for me, it's too constrictive, too constrained. I like to be more, be able to do not just only health or only wealth and i'll talk more about that in another episode in terms of you can still focus on one goal but you can still do other things have some sort of a balance in a way as you're aiming for that one goal that's specifically pertaining to health wealth or relationship so that group name has changed to health wealth and beyond is because now that i'm adding travel which it can be pretty much fit into both or all the categories. You're building a relationship with yourself and with others while you're on vacation or while you're on your traveling journey. And also for health, health is important while you're traveling, whether it's during, before, or after your trip. All the different aspects of health, right? And if, of course, if you wanted to do the traveling as a business, just think of it as Costco membership for traveling, then you can totally save on your travels by being an agent just for yourself, not even doing it as a business. And of course, earn commission for your travels instead of whatever booking site you use for your online, for your booking yourself. And all you have to do is go through the agent traveling booking site, right? And so you're still building wealth as you're working on your health, uh, your trip as a self-care trip or yoga retreat or something like that. Um, Or you might totally not want to book trips for yourself or for other people. You just want to get somebody else to do it. Um, That concept of not doing everything yourself, right? If you are able to, then of course, just um, let me handle your trips or let somebody else handle your trips. Then you don't have to worry about being the agent side, just enjoy your vacation. So they're all somehow connected. That's why I am kind of combining it, but not doing it all together at the same level of focus for each one. Then I'm really diversing myself into three different uh, different directions, right? So I'm still focusing on that one thing, but I cannot completely eliminate the others as I'm talking about that specific main thing. So that's where I'm going with that as well with this season. Um, I hope you're able to and wanting to catch up on the previous episodes. If you want to continue this journey with me to hear what I have to share in this upcoming season and future seasons, then please subscribe and write a review. Um, I look forward to hearing your feedback. Anything that you want me to share that I haven't mentioned, please reach out to me and let me know as well that I can best serve you in any way. Just let me know and um, I'll do my best to serve you. And I look forward to hearing and seeing you in the next future episodes.